Hello, I'm Langan Kingsley, and welcome back to another episode of A Cup of Poetry. This week, we're joined by Penguin poet Terence Hayes, whose most recent collection, Lighthead, was released this April. His last collection, Wind in a Box, was named one of the best 100 books of 2006 by Publishers Weekly. His other books are Hip Logic, which won the National Poetry Series Open Competition and was a finalist for the Los Angeles Times Book Award, and Muscular Music, which won the Kate Tufts Discovery Award. His other honors include a Pushcart Prize, three Best American Poetry Selections, a Whiting Writers Award, a National Endowment for the Arts Fellowship, and a Guggenheim Fellowship. Lighthead is no less ambitious and no less accomplished than his previous collections, taking us on a journey through time, space, and history. As Yosef Kamenyaka put it, Lighthead is genius at work. Hayes will be reading and discussing three poems from the collection, Cocktails with Orpheus, Shakur, and The Lighthead's Guide to the Galaxy. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Hello, I'm Terrence Hayes, uh, a penguin poet, and I'm going to be talking with you today about a few poems in my new collection, Lighthead. I wouldn't call it a project book, but the way it relates to Wind in a Box is that there is a sort of central image through it if the image of the box and wind and even mirrors are recurring in the, the previous book, and this one is the image of fire. So it's the good part of fire, the way it warms us and enlightens us, and then it's the bad part of fire, both historically speaking in terms of lynching, but also in terms of passion and the way that passion can also be a kind of destructive element. So um, these sorts of things are never right out in front in the book, but it's the sort of thing that I use as a motivation for organizing the poems once I sort of have a sense of direction. You know, connected to that would be a poem like uh, Cocktails with Orpheus, which comes late in the most recent book. But having heard me talk about both fire and images of light, you'll see how they they sort of recur without being the central part of the poem. Cocktails with Orpheus. After dark, the bar full of women part of me loves. The part that stood naked outside the window of Miss Geneva, recent divorcee who owned a gun. Oh, Miss Geneva. Where are you now? Orpheus says she did not perish. She was not turned to ash in the brutal light. She found a good job. She made good money. She had her own insurance and a house. She was a decent wife. I know decent lives in the word descent. The bar noise makes a kind of silence. When Orpheus hands me his sunglasses, I see how fire changes everything. In the mind, I am behind a woman whose skirt is hiked above her hips, as bound as touch permits, saying, don't forget me when I become the liquid out of which names are born, salt milk, milk sweet, and animal made. I want to be human above the body, uprooted and right, a fold of please released, but I am a black wound, what's left of the deed. It sort of plays on the idea of the imagination, uh, the lightheadedness that comes with passion and, and uh, the kinds of passion that sort of guides and destroys Orpheus, I think.